Saab gives its SUV a B12 shot. SSC says it's taking another shot at Bugatti's record, and UK police want Speeder's DNA. I'm Ji Youngman, and this is Fastlane Daily. What happens when you shoehorn a Corvette engine into a Saab? No, nope, you don't get a BMW beater. You get one of these. It's the new Saab 97X Aero SUV. Although it's the least Swedish of the Saab line, within the 97X Aero beats the heart of a C6 Corvette. That is a 6-liter LS2 V8 producing 390 horsepower and 395 foot-pounds of torque. The most powerful of Saabs also comes with a 20-inch polished wheel and V-speed rated performance tires. It also comes in a color Saab calls carbon flash metallic, otherwise known as shiny dark gray. The 97X Aero may not win over many hardcore Saab fans, and it won't keep cynics from calling it an overpriced Chevy Trailblazer. But if you want a luxury SUV that gets off the line like a Corvette, pony up 45 grand. Get ready for round two of the fastest production car wars. SSC says its Ultimate Aero TT will make another run at the speed record held by the Bugatti Veyron. That record stands at an official 249 miles per hour and an unofficial 253 miles per hour recorded by James May of the UK show Top Gear. This time, SSC's run will be measured and recorded by the Guinness Book of World Records. A product of Washington State, the Ultimate Aero TT is powered by a 6.3-liter twin-turbo V8 producing 1,183 horsepower. On its first top speed run, the Ultimate Aero hit 241.4 miles per hour at what the driver said was 71% throttle. But wind tunnel test says it could top out at 273. Look for the next run this fall. Next up. Will lead-footed Brits be forced to give up DNA to Johnny Law? That's in the internet rumor mill after this. So the other day I was driving down the 405 and I saw a car. It was a yellow car and it totally cut me off. And that really pissed me off because usually when I drive down... Got a story for Fastlane Daily? We want to know about it. Give us a call at 213-291-1883 or tips at FastlaneDaily.com. If you just can't wait, send us an aim at Fastlane Daily. And don't forget to subscribe to Fastlane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. DNA samples are already used to catch violent offenders, but should they be used to catch speeders? Absolutely, say police in England. Bobbies across the pond say they want the authority to take DNA samples from busted speeders. And it wouldn't just be traffic violators who'd get a good swabbing by the roadside. Litterers and subway fare jumpers would also have their cells collected for a national database. Sounds like a nightmare out of science fiction? It could be, though many in the UK expect a backlash against such overreaching by police. Let's hope the humans win this one. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in next week when we clone a new race of speeders using DNA collected from the Formula One pits. Oh, gross.